now I'd like to introduce to the podium uh, a very dynamic person, a, a person who's been a true friend to us. I should uh, note that the mayor, uh, I, I was pleased when I first became president of the Chilean American Chamber to be involved in uh, Mayor Nutter's presentation with Chile's highest civilian honor, the Order of Bernardo O'Higgins. It's, uh, it's not given lightly, and it's given to someone who truly appreciates the relationship between Chile and uh, our region, and it was given uh, very deservedly to Michael Nutter. So, Mayor Nutter, uh, thank you very much for being with us tonight. I am very excited. 25th year, uh, 25th anniversary of the Chilean American uh, Chamber of Commerce. Please give yourselves a big, big round of applause. And of course, during that time and even before, uh, you've certainly been forging very strong and growing uh, commercial and trade ties uh, between uh, Chile and the greater Philadelphia area, and Philadelphia in particular, which has, of course, brought uh, great strength and commercial activity to our great city. We're an international city, and therefore, uh, it's only fitting that our economy reflect the world. Increasingly, folks are getting to know uh, Philadelphia more and more, uh, not only across the country but around the world. We've always been an international city, uh, and we need to proclaim that uh, even more and more. And certainly, again, the Senator is aware Philadelphia has one of the only ports in the United States of America uh, that has capacity to grow. Most other ports in America are at uh, capacity, and the Southport Project gives us an incredible opportunity uh, to expand our reach around the world. In addition, of course, uh, we've also spent some time, uh, maybe a little too much time, but put that to the side, uh, also deepening uh, the uh, Delaware with the dredging project, which will allow uh, even larger ships to come uh, to Philadelphia and the Philadelphia region. I want to commend our president, executive director, and this entire organization for your focus, for your commitment, for your dedication to making sure that Philadelphia and the Philadelphia region uh, gets uh, a fair, if not more than a fair share. We know for a fact uh, that a significant amount of the Chilean fruit uh, and other goods, and of course wine, uh, that uh, come to the United States of America come through uh, the Philadelphia port. And that creates jobs and economic vitality. Folks working down at the port, those are great jobs. Those are family wage-sustaining jobs uh, that help people take care of themselves, put their children through school, and participate fully uh, in uh, all that Philadelphia uh, has to offer. And so we will continue uh, through this partnership to support what you are doing. Uh, I uh, do very much recall uh, receiving uh, that uh, highly bestowed order and uh, did uh, make a commitment uh, at that time and we'll try to figure out how to, uh, how to do this. Uh, but uh, clearly, uh, we must uh, have uh, not only exchange uh, with uh, fruit and goods and other uh, product uh, coming to Philadelphia, uh, but uh, I think it is uh, way overdue uh, that uh, there be some opportunity uh, to see uh, just exactly what is uh, going on and that a delegation uh, from Philadelphia uh, must, uh, over the course of the next few years, also venture uh, to uh, Chile, and I look forward to working with you uh, on uh, that project as well. 25 years and many, many more to come. Uh, hundreds of years of activity will take place uh, between uh, this great city and our region and Chile, uh, and certainly to this uh, chamber. Uh, I know there will be more than uh, 25 years to go in the future, and I look forward to being involved with you during all of that time. Thank you so much. Please communicate to our friends uh, in Chile how much uh, we appreciate what you do. I was out to dinner just uh, last week. There were some business people, uh, and uh, two of them uh, are shippers uh, out of uh, Chile, happened to be uh, in Philadelphia, and gave glowing remarks about the things that go on. Uh, here, unsolicited, uh, but uh, very, very excited. So thank you all so, so uh, very much. Keep up the great work, and um, enjoy the wine that I'm not having. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you very much for having me. One thing about the Chilean American Chamber is it, it is by far the premier international chamber. 
not just in this region or this city, but I think in the country. And this chamber started years ago. In the first couple of years, we uh, trade resulted in about 150 to 180 million dollars a year. And folks, do you know what it is now? Nearly a billion dollars a year in trade. And it's just the beginning, because we can do better. And uh, there are a couple of people that deserve great thanks, because this chamber uh, is so successful because of the hard work of guys like Bob Palima. So how about a hand of applause for Bob Palima? And also, Mr. Fitness, Ricardo Montanaldo. Um, I never recognize him. I always think it's his little brother or something. Now, there's someone here, too, who, who is very responsible for giving us a great start at the chamber, and that's Cheryl Rothberg. And Cheryl really helped us over the first number of years. She did a great show. Wave. So Mayor Nutter gets it. I think Governor Corbett gets it. Philadelphia and this region can succeed through international trade. The one thing I always say about our ports is it's wonderful that these great ships come to Philadelphia and our region and unload the ships. It's terrible that these ships go back empty. We have to keep working together to fill those ships, to increase our trade, to increase jobs, to increase economic development, and we can do it by working together. So I want to thank you for having me here tonight, and I want to present a citation which we passed unanimously in the Pennsylvania State Senate, and it just recognizes what a wonderful and important chamber the uh, Chilean American Chamber is and congratulates the Chamber on 25 wonderful years. So thank you very much for having me. Congratulations once again, Felicia Donald.